welcome back. In this episode of Mike's Mini Motors, we're going to be working on the Audi Q7 one more time. Uh, the brakes are squeaking a bit uh, when you come to a stop, and so I think that would be not a very good selling point. So I picked up the pads and uh, the new wear sensors, and we're going to get those put on here. And I'm going to show you how it's done. That way, if any of you guys out there have a Q7, this could possibly help you not do it. From my research I've done, it looks like they should be fairly simple, so you guys can learn right alongside me. So, let's get to it. Alright, so we got the car jacked up, got the jack under here. Um, there is a little arrow, which I'll try to get the camera and film it here in a minute. It shows you right where to put your jack. Um, and then I do have a jack stand under there also. Because the way I have my jack in there, I couldn't get the jack stand in the location supposed to go but I put it in a secondary location just to as a safety precaution in case this thing gives out um, but our first step now that we got this side up in the air is look in your toolkit you should have one of these little guys it's just a little pair of tweezers pretty much to pull off the little caps that are on the lug nuts or lug bolts in this case so we get those pulled off get the lug bolts out and get the wheel off and then we'll have the brake exposed and we can get to getting those pads changed out So I didn't make it very far before I had to pause. Uh, got all the caps pulled off. And then I forgot to mention earlier that these are 19 millimeter. So got my impact here and everything and I put it on there and I hit the trigger and it just went pop, pop, pop. Like there's like no air pressure. I thought maybe my compressor was off. But I remembered I turned the, the regulator down to like 20 PSI or something like that for when I was painting the hood. And I forgot to turn it back up. So let's get back to it. Okay, so here's the caliper. This is massive on these things. Um, one thing I've already noticed though is this pin here, this is the pin that you have to remove to be able to get the pads and everything out. But on the back side here, there's supposed to be a 13 millimeter bolt that threads into it to hold it from sliding out. Now, who knows where that bolt went, but it's not here, so I will have to get a replacement one. Um, luckily, nothing catastrophic happened because that could have fell out. Pads could have just, could have just fallen out and you have no brakes right here, so. Um, I'm gonna start off with getting this pin out, which then I can then unhook the, the wear, pad wear sensor here, and then get all the pads out. So, do that in hyperlapse so you guys can see the whole process. All right, so I got the pin out. It was a pain in the butt. I had to go get a long quarter inch extension to be able to tab it through. And then got the old wear sensors off of there. And looking at it, you can tell this, these brake pads still have a decent amount of meat left on them. But since I was doing the brakes, I figured I'd just do them all anyways, because cost wasn't too much and I couldn't tell if it was the front of the rear that was squealing so yeah so now they get the brake pads out of there you gotta get a screwdriver or something and push them back as you can see they're moving a little bit And that will free up room for these this excuse me these pads to come out just like that and then it give us enough room for the new one to slide in so i'm going to go ahead and 
get these swapped out and get that pin and everything back in there and then we'll move on to the next one So here's the pads I'll put back in there. They still got a little wiggle just because I haven't stepped in the brakes and compressed the calipers again yet. But got those in there. Put the new little wear sensors on. They're pretty easy to just push into place and they're like friction lock fit in here. You go underneath the little bracket here to hold the clip, or the clip holds the wire. And then your other side for the other pad. Then it routes up. It's kind of clever. This is actually from the factory. They use a little bleeder cap. A loop on it to help contain that and then it just plugs in here on the spindle so yeah this side's done you can uh, put the wheel back on and move to the other side I'm not gonna film the other side just because it's gonna be identical to this just mirrored um, but I will film again once I get to the backs the back wheels so here we are under the front again that's the front tire but you can kind of see Right here, this little arrow, that's pointing to this lip here. This is the lip you want to lift the car by. And then the jack stand should go on this, but it's too close with my jack, so I went up there instead. And then if you look here on the back, we got it jacked up now too. You can see that it's got an arrow also. Same thing with the jack stand, it was too close at that point, so I just went in to another position. So we got it up in the air. Again, I'm gonna pull those little beauty caps off the lug bolts and get that wheel off of there. And then I'll see you guys again in just a minute. All right, so the rear wheel's off of here now. Um, this brake setup is almost identical to the front, like the way that they're held in and everything. It is smaller, it's only a four pot caliper compared to six in the front, but it's the same where it's got the, the wear sensors here that gotta be replaced. A little clip I'll reuse and there's the pin that holds everything in the difference with this one though compared to the front is there's not a bolt that attaches it there's a little like cotter pin right here that keeps it from sliding in and out so these like I said should be just as easy as the front so I'll just get the cotter pin out take the big pin out and then start disassembling the rest of it Got the old pads out, and again, as you can see, these ones still had quite a bit of meat left on them. And uh, so, all I'm gonna hang on to them, and I'll just probably give them to the new owner, whoever buys this, so they have, have a backup set, I guess. But let them know that they were squealing. Um, but yeah, I got the sensor out of there. One of them was a, bit a little stubborn and actually cracked a bit. Oops, not in the frame. Cracked a little bit there. But that's why I got new ones, so I don't have to worry about that. Also, this is why I normally wear gloves when I work on these cars, because that's pretty gross. But I had started and forgot my gloves, and the hands were already filthy immediately, so I said screw it on this one. But I'm going to grab the new pads, and I'll get those put in. And the wear sensors, and then everything bolted back together. Duh. That one is done. That was really simple. Only took me, if I weren't filming, probably a total of three or four minutes. 
Uh, super simple. It's nice that you can just pull the pin and they pull out this way. You don't have to pull the caliper off. This is the first car I've done that I haven't had to pull the caliper off. So that definitely sped things up quite a bit. So uh, I'm going to go to do the other side of the car. I'm not going to film that just because it's the exact same thing. Um, but that's pretty much it on doing the, the pads on these things. If you were to, if you were to be changing your rotor too, the only addition is I believe this bolt here is a, a T50 bolt or some kind of, it's a Torx. And then that holds the, the rotor on. There's another one here which might be involved, but I'm not sure on that guy. Um, but yeah, you just unbolt your caliper, unbolt this, pull the rotor off, put the new one on, and bam, then you'd have your whole brake systems replaced. But I decided not to do rotors because... I don't have the money for it right now, so to the pads, and hopefully that stops the squeaking, and I can get this thing sold. So, thanks for watching, and go ahead and, you know, like the video if you're enjoying the content, uh, leave me a comment if you feel like it, and subscribe if you haven't. Thanks a lot. See you guys in the next video.